Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean with Top Speed Pro One Performance here in Addison, Texas. We've got another video here for you today. We're gonna to be talking about the different types of materials for aftermarket exhaust products. So I've got a couple of examples here for you. The first one I wanna talk about is, this is a muffler compared to a resonator, which is something different. We'll talk about that in just a second, but this is actually a high flow straight through muffler. You can see that this goes all the way through so there's no baffling like in a stock factory muffler. So these actually add performance. But I wanna show you also, a proper muffler is gonna have this steel wool wrapping as well as this fiberglass packing. And this is all tightly packed in here to give you the best possible muffler uh, to, to deaden the sound as much as possible. So uh, a lot of companies will stuff the fiberglass in there and it will tend to burn off. And if they don't pack it tight enough, it'll tend to burn off. So it'll, it won't do you any good. We actually fold over several layers of fiberglass wrapping to do our uh, internals on these mufflers. So that's a little example of just kind of the quality that you're gonna be looking for. So that's a muffler. Some people think that this is a muffler. This is actually what we call a resonator. Okay, now what this does is it's similar to a muffler but it actually has the inner mesh that you can see in there. That helps to deaden the sound a little bit more. Not quite like a muffler, but it will deaden the sound. And these are mainly for uh, eliminating the cabin drone. That's why they're uh, closer to the front of the vehicle, closer to the front of the exhaust system, in order to capture that cabin drone inside the cabin of the vehicle. So that's what you'll see these. You'll also notice that this is the thick T304 stainless steel. This is a thicker gauge material. This is all the quality material that we use in our exhaust systems. So I also wanted to talk about the proper method for cleaning. Uh, if, if you have stainless steel products on the exhaust, they're still gonna corrode. They will not be completely stainless as they talk about. So uh, if you live in a saltwater climate like on the coast, or if you live up in the northern climate where they put a lot of salt on the roads in the bad weather, it's gonna really corrode this material. So there are, are processes uh, that you can use to clean this, and then you can also use various types of waxes, like uh, like even car wax will work, to put a coating on these to keep them from getting corroded. So we can share another video uh, later on that shows maybe the process you can use to do that. So we hope that helps in letting you know how to maintain the look of your stainless steel exhaust systems. Uh, there's some other aftermarket companies out there that might be a lot cheaper but you really get what you pay for in this market. So we cut this open, and when you look at this from this side, you think, oh, that's gonna be a nice, a nice, decent muffler, right? Well, inside, you'll see that there was no packing, there was no fiberglass insulation at all. So obviously, the price point, you're gonna get what you pay for. You'll also notice that this is what we call T409 stainless steel, which is a thinner gauge, and it's a cheaper gauge material that's gonna rust and corrode a lot faster than T304. So be careful what you're buying out there. You, you know, you really get what you pay for and you may not be getting the quality that you're really looking for. So we hope that answers some questions about the quality of the materials. Thanks for tuning into today's video and we'll see you guys on the next one.